besties, it's just Grandma Kimmy here. I thought I'd come on and just say a quick hello to everyone, see how you're all doing, how's it going? I didn't sort out how many of my reborns today, because I'm having one of those days where I've just been doing a bit of crafting, catching up on emails and doing the things that us women do, do. Anyway, I wanted to come on as well, not only to say hello to you, but also to say that today is one of my favourite weather days. The wind is blowing ferociously and the rain is pitter patting against my window and I absolutely love the sound of it. It makes me feel relaxed, it makes me feel sleepy, so a lot of the time if I sit anywhere and I can hear the sound from the outside, my eyes start to droop and my head starts to nod and I just relax into whatever chair or sofa or whatever I'm doing. At the moment, I'm sitting on the floor with my camera on a chair in front of me and I have been watching the rain as the drops race against each other down the window pane. It is so relaxing. Now, I know not everybody likes this kind of weather. I mean, my mum-in-law, bless her heart, absolutely petrified of storms, of the wind, the lashing rain, that really does scare her. Maybe it's left over from when she was a child, I'm, I don't know. I think I told you when I was a child, my mum was absolutely petrified of thunderstorms. She really, really was. And I mean, it was nothing for her to come in and say, Kim, Kim, are you awake? <clears throat> to obviously, which I would reply, well, I am now, mum, what's up? There's a storm. Come on, we've got to get you to safety. And she would get me up and take me down into the hallway, down the bottom of the stairs. And there was a curtain up at the window at our front door. So it was really like a little black tunnel because you go down the stairs and there was a, a door one side which led into the kitchen come dining room area. And at the end of the long hall, there was the front door and there was a winter curtain up there which often was leapt up all year, but then, of course, Mum would pull it back in the summer, let the light in and the fresh air, whatever. But that area, if you sat down there, it was almost like being in a bunker. When I say bunker, you know, like when in the war, when the bombs were dropped, you go down in the bunker, because it was dark and it was cold, because in them days we didn't have central heating everywhere, obviously. It wasn't one of those things then when I was much younger. And we would sit there on the stairs with my mum quaking at every sound of a bang or a crack or a crunch and I'd sit in there with my head nodding because obviously I'd got to be up for school the following day but um, I wasn't scared and I think I wasn't scared because maybe it was because my mum was I don't know I just was not scared and I'm not scared of thunderstorms or being out in the lightning today. Yes, of course, I'm careful. Yes, of course, I do all the things that they tell you you should do when you're out in a storm. Was it don't stand under a tree, you're more likely to get struck. If you're carrying an umbrella, it's safer to put that down so that the metal doesn't conduct and then you get electrocuted and shot across the road, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if some of the things that I've heard are just what they call them, old wives' tales. But I stick to them, I don't do them, but I am not scared of storms. And when my husband told me today that a storm was coming in, I don't know where he said he was coming from, somewhere off the continent, I expect, over some big lake, which we called a sea or a nation. Um, he said one was coming. Immediately I said, oh, what's its name? I love knowing its name. He gets quite... Why do they give them names? Well, no, why do they give anything names, says I. But I do like to know the name. Like Storm Irene, Storm Eric, Storm whatever you face. I just like it. I don't know. It just makes it more... We can't say human, can you? Because it's not human, it's nature. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So, yeah, my mum used to get me up and make me sit in the dark with her because she was scared. My dad would sleep through it. He wasn't scared at all. And I bet Mum probably tried to wake him up and he just grunted and turned over. <laughs> so, yeah, I got it. Are you awake, Kim? I am um, now, says I, as I fall out of bed. Because I immediately know once I'm awake that there's a reason for it. And the reason is she wants company because she's scared. And if the only person that's going to give her company is a, what, 10-year-old kid, 
go for it. Also, I suppose it was our time, because we did talk, we'd chat about things as we sat there. Things that probably wouldn't talk about during the day when you could see each other. Things that made you relax. Of course, I loved it, because I could hear the wind and the rain and the storm outside. So I was relaxed in my own space, safe with my mum. My mum, on the other hand, was probably absolutely petrified. Bless her heart. I can hear her now. When there was a big clack outside of thunder, my mum would go, Oh, Jack! That was my dad's name. I can hear her now, and it makes me smile. Bless her heart. My mum was quite, I won't say, I'd say it's not foreboding, is it? Because some people probably would have been a bit scared of her, because my mum was real tough, really tough. She didn't take no falls and take any of their rubbish ever what my mum said she meant and you got whatever she felt you needed to hear <laughs> you always smile now when I think of it and she was frightened of nature because she was frightened of the storm and I wasn't so that made me feel a little bit stronger than my mum yeah when we were little we lived in a big old Tudor house the memory that always comes flashing back to me is when there was a big storm and my dad was out and we had a ray burn and an open fire in the sitting room. And there was me and my mum there on my own because my brothers were so much older than me and my sister, they'd left home, they'd gone their merry way, you know, got married, gone out, got a home of their own and children of their own by then. But I can remember my mum <clears throat> sending me off out with the bucket to the coal shed to get the coal because she was petrified to go out in the uh, storm. But there was no fear for me. I just wasn't afraid of it and I'm not afraid of it now. It's just a calming, relaxing, bringing back of memories, storms and the likes. I apologise if you can't see out the window very well, because obviously I can see what I think you're seeing, but it doesn't mean to say that you actually are seeing what I think you're seeing. I think you're seeing out through a gap in the rain in the window, but you might not be able to. But there again, I'm just chattering anyway, aren't I? Just chattering on about things that I like and things I don't like. Well, not so much don't like. I do like nature. I like the wind and the rain. I just love it and it makes me feel relaxed and comfortable. Yep, peeps, you know I don't like the sun, which I've told you a thousand times before and you're probably bored of hearing it. But I do love this weather. Oh, it's so relaxing. It's just wonderful. It just makes me feel good, mm, warm and relaxed. Almost like you're thinking to yourself, whoa, I'm glad I'm in here. And every time I always say the same thing, I always say, oh, we must remember the people that have no homes or who choose to live out. Not everybody that hasn't got a home and travels around and is homeless choose, does not choose to be there. Some people prefer the freedom. Um, if that's what they want, then let them enjoy it. But if they don't want it, help them to get a place. That's what I say. Anyway, just a quick on to say I love you all besties and let you know how I'm feeling today. Yep, I'm feeling relaxed, I'm feeling quite calm and I'm enjoying the storm. I love you loads and I'll see you soon because I've got a new outfit for one of my babies and uh, my Ray Ray, Sienna Ray, and I want to show it to you. It's a nice little winter outfit and I better show it to you quickly because we're going to be getting some warmer weather, I'm sure. Anyway, love you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.